Students join together for a celebration of life and survival. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm David Amelotti. Tomorrow marks two weeks since that deadly shooting at Central Visual and Performing Arts High School. Today, students found healing and through the power of song and dance. News 4's Alexis Zotos shares their message, the message of survivors. Hallelujah. From song to dance. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for the people. The power of healing through art. We're thankful for, to be alive and we're thankful for God for getting us through what we went through. Students of Central Visual and Performing Arts took to the stage to celebrate life. You know, you think about like what could have been, but that after you get past that, it, it's just like, I really love these people, like these are my family, like I don't think I'll be able to do it without them. The student-led event took place Sunday on the football field behind CBPA and Collegiate School. Sitting in the front were the families of Jean Kushka. She'll be sorely missed and I hope you keep her memory alive. And Alexandria Bell. I don't want none of y'all, no adult in here to feel the pain that I feel every day knowing that I would never get to see my child graduate, perform in another recital. She won't get to do anything, but you all have your children. Stand up, take my people with me. Senior Veronica Russell helped organize the performances and the march. Students and staff taking to the street to demand action to prevent a future tragedy. My advice to them is once speak your voice, speak it with passion, and sincerity, but don't let anyone else change your voice. And they, they've been doing that. And we're just, we're, we're so proud of them. Artistic Director Dr. Willie Kilpatrick says the St. Louis community has showed up to support their students, but these teenagers still need it. When those kids are performing, show up, show up, show up. Let them know by your presence. Not necessarily the monetary things, that's great. Not necessarily uh, the things that they can donate, presence means a lot. Students with the Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience will start virtual back this week, potentially getting back inside their classrooms as soon as the following week. As for CVPA, the district tells me a decision has not been made, but they will be meeting this week to talk about the next steps. In South City, Alexis Zotos, News 4.